Um, now this is just to show you that it's starting to it's starting to uh, bubble up. And you just turn them over, and you, you're waiting for them to go a nice brown colour. See, there's my little ball that comes to the surface. Although really, you should wait until it goes a bit browner than I have. I just don't want to keep you waiting around so long. So as I said, you, you can make them a better a better shape if you've got a bit more flour to go around the outside before you put them in. But as you can see, they're already bubbling up. Just back over here. Just turning them over again. We'll just wait until they get. I just want you to see just how much they fluff up. Ideally if you've got enough oil that they can sit in there and look the oil covers that way they float to the surface and you'll get a lot more of it cooked in one go than I can here. Again I'm a bit low on <laughs> supplies and everything at the minute. But I wanted to do this so that People can make themselves a treat and make themselves some white bread that's going to be good for them as opposed to the stuff that has loads of salt in. Well, we just can't get it anywhere at the moment. Easy. Okay, so it's starting to go brown now. Keep turning over. And the browner they get, the more they fluff up. doing yeah so as you can see that's that's come out pretty clean so we're on the way there oh, now we're starting to get brown the good last Getting that yum yum look. Okay, so that's one done. So all you need to do then is wait for it to cool down. Mix a little icing sugar with uh, lemon juice or water uh, to, so it's like a paste and, and then just um, put it on with a, with a knife. Um, <coughs> Not a sharp one, obviously. 
And that's it. That that's your yum yums. Um, I'm gonna try and cut one open for you to. I'll move that in a couple more seconds. I'm gonna cut one open so you can see uh, what it's come out like. Let's put you back there a moment. So there you go. Um, if you can see this, it's uh, nice and crunchy, just as you'd expect. I know they've just come out, and I shouldn't be able to handle them, but I have uh, like asbestos hands. Those so I've been in catering many years. Um, I'll cut open the other one as well. No, it's nothing for you guys. I'm afraid the dogs want some now. They've realised it's cooked. Um, but there you go, hopefully you can see that. Um, and, and then as I said, with this sort of knife, just a usual cutlery knife, you can just spread on some um, icing sugar mixed with a little uh, lemon juice or um, water if you prefer uh, icing sugar and water. Uh, just just coat it uh, and that's your yum yum so uh, we we'll see now how we're doing how we do with the bread not quite the time yet I'll have a little look oh, she might be ready because it's not a huge loaf let me have a look now the way to test your loaf is if you tap the bottom of it um, it should sound hollow and it should look cooked too, so we'll um, we'll see. <laughs> so there you go. There's your loaf. Let's uh, cut the bottom of it. Yeah, she's sounding pretty good. So that's it. And obviously you can get yours a better shape if you're doing it because um, I needed more flour, <laughs> more flour and more, uh, just to get it to keep shape before I put it in. But as you can see, you, you, you've got your basic um, dough mix and bread. So that will keep you going and you don't have to worry about trying to go out and buy any. Um, you can use all different types of flour as I've said, so good luck and thanks for bearing with the video if you've made it to the end. Thank you. <laughs>